In this video, we'll take a closer look at the resource building block. Resources are items that are required before processing work at an activity. For our bank simulation, the teller and mortgage advisor activities will need employees to carry out those tasks. Let's add these resources to the simulation by dragging them onto the model. We've named the resources tellers and mortgage advisors. In the properties menu, we can define the number of available resources. In our case, let's say this is a local bank, so we only have one mortgage advisor and one teller. Okay, let's add our teller to the relevant activity by choosing the resources button. You can then press add, choose your resource, and then press okay. That's your resource now added to the teller activity. You can then repeat this process for the mortgage advisor activity. Resources don't always have to be people. They could be rooms, pieces of equipment, transportation vehicles, and anything in between. Okay, we have our resources in place. Let's start adding more detail to make them reflect our real life process. Let's say our bank employees work in shifts. We can quickly set this up by clicking on the resource and selecting the shift dependent checkbox. You can then select shift work patterns and click new. You can see that we've already set a morning shift from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and an afternoon shift from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Another way to do this is through the resource schedule where you can set how many resources are available at different intervals of time throughout the day. Take a look at our help files for more information on this feature. Okay, we now have the process, routing, and resources for our bank in place. In the next video, we'll look at using the simulation to get our results.